So, Miguel, your standard question, I, I'm, I'm stealing it. I'm apologizing ahead of time. Did you get into a lot of street fights as a kid? Never. No, I've never punched anybody in my life till my first MMA fight. So this leads us into our first question. So the first time you ever punched somebody, was it September 7, 2001, and the Ultimate Wrestling won against Jeff Greer? No, no. We, we did probably 10 to 20, I guess you'd call them amateur fights prior to that. <laughs> Okay, none of that's on your record. No, okay. no, this was like, I mean, it was below amateur, you know? I mean, it was. Well, was it in Minnesota? I, talk, talk about the scene, because up there, you know, yeah. even back then you had, like, up in the Dakotas, you had, like, uh, Captain Nelson up there. Like, they were, there were sure. shows you could fight. Iowa. Talk, yeah, talk about so, those early days. So I just got done wrestling. I, I went to college for four years. I wrestled all four years. I, I did well wrestling. Um, I was about a year away from my degree. I was going to, to be a cop for law enforcement. And I moved back home after my senior year um, with all intentions to, I, I was about an hour away from my school, with all intentions is to go back, get my degree and, and become a cop. And I, I went to a bar um, to, to, uh, to get a, like a bouncing job, to get a job just for the summer. And there was a big dude there. He was, uh, you know, clearly a, a, an amateur wrestler himself. And he, him and I started talking. And he's like, hey, I'm doing these. I don't even think it was MMA back then. He might have called it NHB. NHB. No old bard. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm doing these shows here monthly. Uh, you should do it. You know, and we were talking wrestling. And, and I'm like, I, I'd never gotten to a fight in my life. I, you know, I just walked in to get an application for a job. And. And he's like, no, you should do it. Uh, so he gave me his card, and on the, the name on the card was Brad Kohler. So that's how I met Brad. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, All right. he, I'm trying to hold my excitement. I apologize. He, he, gave me, he gave me his card, and I literally threw it away. I had no intentions of doing it. And I talked to a couple people, and they're like, yeah, you should do it, because it was my hometown, and, and you know, people knew about it. And I called him a couple days later, and he had a school – like an MMA school. He was running a school up in like Minneapolis. And he's like, Hey, come up for a, for a training session with me. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I drove up there, literally knew nothing. I, I, I'd never watched the U I maybe watched UFC like one or two, but, and he's like, you're ready. I get, I hit pads like five weeks. He's like, you're ready. But I can get you a fight next week. I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like, I, I need to train for this. He's like, He's like, no, you're fine. So literally like a week later, I had my first fight. Um, small bar in Oatana, Minnesota. Um, there was probably 20 people in the crowd and, and 15 of them were my family. Um, <laughs> That's bizarre. That's bizarre. Yeah, it, it, well, there, there was no athletic commission back then. No, so, no. What's bizarre is that there were so few people there. Yeah. I mean, it was just... It, it was, that, was a, that was a time when MMA was so hot. All you had to do was put up a couple posters and people would show up. I, I mean, this was even before then, really. I mean, this was like 2000. I mean, maybe 2001. I mean, people just didn't know. And so I, I won that fight. I basically just took him down and, and punched him a couple times and had no clue what I was doing. And, and Kohler's like, like let's do this again and it was it was basically like we were a, a traveling circus you know we would like i said there was there's no athletic commission so we would just travel from town to town and kohler could sell anything to anybody and he, he'd talk to the bar owner and say hey you know i got this ring blah 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 and there's about four or five of other other guys and and he'd set up a ring and and, and we go fight and and He'd bring in opponents for me to fight, and I remember he'd always I would I would win. The guys just I was just athletic and big and strong, and Kohler would get on the mic after I won, and he'd be like, "Hey, anybody in the crowd want to fight this guy? I'll give him a thousand dollars if they beat him." And I jump uh, bikers would would jump in the in the ring, and I'd fight a couple of guys, a couple of those guys, and, and would they up. would they still be in like their leather vest and jeans yeah. at this yeah. point? That's big old belt, big old belt buckles. That's fantastic. Cowboy boots. <laughs> this is and, why I love Brad Kohler. Yeah. This is why Brad we'd, the best. we'd pack up and we'd head to the next town and 
It was like a traveling circus. We did that for probably a year or so. How much would you get? How much would this traveling circus pay you? Mm-hmm. He'd maybe give me a hundred bucks, you know, sometimes, but I didn't really expect anything. I was, I was you know, I was a young kid. I was just out of college. Um, <laughs> you know, he'd pay for my hotel. He'd buy me, you know, one thing I'll say about Brad Kohler is I know he screwed over a lot of people, but he always treated me really good. And uh, shit, you were his moneymaker. I know. Well, he, he took care of me. He really did. And, and uh, you know, he, I'd come up, he'd give me hotels for the week or the weekend. He would uh, give me food. You know, he'd, he'd take me out to restaurants and, and you know, a lot of, a lot of bad things or whatever said about Brad, but I, there's not a lot of bad things I can say about him. He, I mean, I knew what he was, you know, everybody did. Everybody knew he was, he was full of it. Everybody knew, you know, when he said things were on pay-per-view, we knew they weren't on pay-per-view. <laughs> We didn't care, you know. Yeah, did you get a did you get a piece of that pay per view percentage yeah. at any point? Yeah, everything anything times zero is zero. So that's exactly. <laughs> right. 